Here's how we use the laminator. Plug it in, turn it on. Just send it all the way to five mil because that is the only kind of laminate sheet we have. This light will blink while it's warming up. When the check mark turns green, uh, it is ready to go. On laminate, it can be purchased at any office supply store, Amazon. Um, yeah, here we've got some very generic pouches. We've got the laminator warming up. We got a pouch. We got a laminating pouch, and they open up. Doing this one-handed is oh so much fun. Come on, there we go. That opens up. The important thing to this process <clears throat> is, is that you have a border of laminate all the way around. There we go. So there we go. That's ready to laminate. It just needs to finish warming up. And it takes, it takes a while. You can kind of smell it. It's it's getting hot. To to touch it, you can feel you can feel quite a bit of heat coming out of there. I would dare say it would work if I sent it through right now. But we're trying to do things the right way. All right, we got a green light. We are fully warmed up, and we're gonna send it through the middle. It does have stops on either end to to send it. Again, this kind of sucks to do one-handed. It's good to have something to outfeed the result on. The thing that's odd about this is if you allow the material to just flop in there and, and go through, it will come out curly. It won't lay flat. And I'm, I'm sure it's because the two pieces of the um, of the laminate are not melding evenly. That's it. One sign. Laminated. It's got some wear resistance to it. Uh, and we're good to go. Putting this on cool, the snowflake, before it's before I unplug it. And the reason we do that is there are a set of rollers in here. And if you just shut it off and let it sit, it'll create a flat spot in the roller and then the laminator won't work. If you got a school teacher in your life, talk to her, she will verify that that happens. And whoever does that is the pariah of the school because a school without a functioning laminating machine uh, cannot function. You might as well tell the teachers uh, to live without electricity or the internet. Uh, they can deal with that better than the laminator being down. All right, so this thing's been running and running and running and running in snowflake mode. Cooling down, green lights on, it's ready to shut off. You just got to remember to do it. You got to set a timer in your phone for like 30 minutes to come back and shut that off. I've left that running overnight. In the future, we hope to have some kind of timer on the power cord so we can just say turn off after 30 minutes so that is the laminator